What's going on there guys? Good morning, good afternoon, some out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this finally Friday, July 8th, 2022 is a date uh, about 10.55 a.m. California time. Latest quake uh, shows, looks like a 2.1 on the Earthquake 3D globe on the big island. Let's readjust those uh, magnitude of quakes there because we're having a pretty good swarm of earthquakes over here around the Mariana Islands. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the USGS map showing some of this movement that's uh, kicking up right smack dab on the trench area. So far we got uh, about five earthquakes or so within the region. I'm sure there's quite a bit more uh, considering the, uh, the magnitude threshold that the USGS uses. Uh, we did have prior to all this movement, we had some deeper activity into the uh, Mariana Trench region down there at about 227 kilometers deep. Uh, since then, of course, got to remember this deeper earthquake activity ultimately adds pressure upstream. And I say this a lot on all the subduction zones. It doesn't happen all the time, but the pressure, as far as like earthquake activity, we're not, we don't really notice it all the time when we see this deeper movement. But you can bet that there's stress uh, being applied upstream when we get this deep earthquake activity like we're seeing right here in the uh, northern Mariana Islands area. So quite a few fives kicking off here so far, the largest a 5.3 in the mix, and it's all been basically within the last hour. So got to watch this area pretty closely. I did pull up, um, let's back out here a little bit, this little section right here. I pulled up some historical earthquake activity within this vicinity, and it looks like it's just on the, uh, on the northern end, this little end right here that hasn't really seen a whole lot of earthquake um, activity historically. Um, and this area can get some big earthquakes downstream, uh, some deep ones into the subduction zone and also up here around the trench area itself. But it seems as though we're having this little swarm where we're lacking um, the fill-in areas uh, for some larger quakes. So we could be uh, possibly looking at something much larger brewing here uh, in this little quiet zone. So eventually it's got to fill in, right? Um, but it's absent far as anything 6.5 and above goes. So watch for that for, for much larger movement potentially. Uh, this area does see some large earthquakes, upper sevens. Uh, looks like within the vicinity, the last upper seven was back in 1940. Um, and the most recent, uh, I want to I stick to this area here of the trench, not not necessarily um, Volcano Islands up north here in Japan, but this area that's kind of um, under the gun right now of pressure. 2016 was the last seven pointer, and that was a deep earthquake, 196 kilometers back there in uh, 2016. Um, so since then, gotta think, man, pressure's definitely been building up. This whole Philippine plate, which is this section right here, has been under quite a bit of stress over the years. And with lack of activity, historically speaking, uh, this is an area where X marks the spot could be a, uh, a, a feature. Uh, prior to the 2016, 2013, uh, 2007, and so on. So watch this area right smack dab right here where we're at. This is kind of upstream from this deeper earthquake activity. And it's all coming in on a quick um, a quick swarm like fashion rest of the activity here um, some movement down south into the Solomon Islands Vanuatu area I think this right here though you kind of notice that we've seen a stop a little pause of activity uh, we did see all that movement in the Middle East uh, a week or so ago a lot of activity in the Andaman Sea remember the swarming activity here that we've seen all that let me bring up the last seven days 4.5 all that has come to a complete halt so this area right here i think is just um continued when we see quiet spells it's kind of building up some pressure right there uh getting ready for future earthquakes uh, could could be today could be tomorrow could be you know next week but when we see these pauses like that uh it's continuously building up strain right here in this region but for now while this comes to a stop uh, the greatest pressure increase and uh, uh, the breaking point, so to speak, is right here around the Mariana Islands where we're seeing that swarming. Things have gone super quiet over here in South America. 
uh, Hawaii. Let me zoom in here, see what these guys are doing. Uh, still seeing low activity up here around the Mono Loa area. We checked this out last night. Uh, GPS measurements still show a continual uplift of the Mono Loa volcano. Uh, nothing's changed yet, uh, but it's something to keep an eye on when we see earthquake swarms up there. Uh, Pahala looks like it's uh, about, I don't know, it looks a little quiet today. Only, uh, only a handful of small earthquakes in that vicinity. Normally we've got 20 or 30 of them in there, so... <clears throat> Uh, let's see, just got another 5.0 in the Mariana Islands area on my phone. Let me zoom in here, see EMSC is kind of putting this out a little late. I mean, uh, USGS is. Let me check the EMSC model here real quick. Stand by for just a second. Let me pull this up and see what these guys are reporting. Uh, there we go. Let's zoom in here to the area. So, yeah, there's a 5.0 that just came in 14 minutes ago. Uh, again, USGS a little late to the ball game. They're showing one that came in <clears throat> almost an hour ago, the last one, a 4.9. So uh, things are still rocking and rolling here in the uh, Mariana Islands area. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me see if I can pull this back up, see where I'm at. Uh, need to go up a little bit, it looks like. There we go. So these guys are reporting, these guys are reporting a 5.7 in the uh, Mariana Islands area at uh, 1655. 1655. So that's kind of, Kind of a big difference there, 5.3 to 5.7, 16.55. So we got the same uh, timestamp here, but they're definitely showing uh, more recent activity and quite a few of them. Six, what do we got? Six, seven, eight earthquakes so far compared to the uh, the five that the USGS is reporting. So definitely a pretty good, sizable swarm kicking up there around this region. So. Uh, just be on guard. Heads up for that area. All right, uh, moving on. Alaska showing a little bit of activity overnight as well with a 5.2. Some smaller quakes out here as well along the Aleutian Trench. West Coast, um, let's see what we got here. A little activity lighting up. Looks like north of the Garlock Fault structure around the Willow Ridge and also up here around the Ridgecrest area. Seeing some typical uh, aftershock sequences. Some scattered activity up and down the board here, Los Angeles area. Um, pretty quiet around the basin region, or the concrete jungle, I should say. Uh, getting a little swarming going on down here in the Salton Sea area once again. Uh, this comes after yesterday's swarm here, just to the west of Salton Sea. Um, so regionally speaking, this area is definitely crunching a little bit uh, and building up some pressure. And of course, got to remember this, we start seeing some migration up here to the uh, plate boundary, which is the San Andreas Fault. Uh, it's a very dangerous segment of the San Andreas Fault because we have not seen any surf, uh, sufficient rupture on it uh, in over 300 years. That's the southern segment. This is where the big one's going to hit one day. 8.1 magnitude is what they're predicting. Could be a little bit higher, could be a little bit lower, but uh, 8.1 is the number they're throwing around. Uh, we got to watch that when swarms start to get super close up here could be pinpointing something right there we could see a big old x marks the spot there today if that keeps up uh, if it keeps up rest of the country um some activity around oklahoma and texas area one earthquake out here in the elgin south carolina region earthquake country south carolina who who would have thought right it's a major seismic hazard zone out there though um let's see let's check yellowstone real quick and i'm gonna bounce out of here folks because i've got a pretty busy day ahead of me Missing a, a bunch of data here from the Yellowstone seismographs, unfortunately. So can't uh, view what's going on. Uh, but for the most part, the other seismographs look pretty quiet. Not seeing any data uh, showing earthquake activity there. Uh, KP indexes wrapped, ramped up a little bit last night. Seen some pretty good auroras at higher latitudes. Uh, up around the KP index there of 5 for quite a while. We have since dropped off uh, down to about 3 or so. Uh, seen... Uh, Seen quite a few 
Aurora's at the uh, some of the the uh, higher tier states. Looks like Brian uh, sent in an image from uh, Vermont. Seeing the Aurora's there on the distance. That's pretty awesome. That's what I want to see one of these days. That would be super cool. It's on my bucket list of things to do. But uh, yeah, a whole bunch of Aurora's visible north uh, of these uh, U.S. tier states. So pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here. Um, have a good day. Stay safe out there. We will chat you a little bit later. Again, watch the Mariana Islands. Um, I think they're under the gun unless, unless we see, uh, look at this 3.4 still popping up here on the opposite side of the Philippine plate. It still tells me that there's quite a bit of increasing pressure here um, from the west. Starting to build up a little bit more over here on this section. But I think we still got to watch this area around the Mariana Trench considering that uh, large earthquake swarm that's taken place there. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll chat you a little bit later on tonight with the update video. Peace out.